Hello everybody, MaxMonty1516 here, back again with the final countdown to Christmas review for 2022. It's Christmas Eve, everyone, at least at the time I'm uploading this. If it's later on, well, it's not Christmas Eve, but even then, I'm excited for Christmas, hope you guys are too, and this is our final review. So, I am taking a look at four very special items today, and all of these are Anniversary Celebration Metallic Engines. And three of them are for the 60th anniversary, and one is for the 65th anniversary. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about them. Up first is Celebrating 60 Years Thomas, or just 60th Anniversary Thomas. This is a really, really cool item. I've said before that I'm a sucker for metallic items, and this is no exception. I love the finish they gave to this Thomas model. As you can see there with the light reflecting off of that, it looks really pretty. I love the shade of blue that went for this. And Thomas ju just looks really unique to me because the wheels are almost like more silver than blue, especially on camera there, they look really silver. And Thomas also has the same metallic blue chassis as opposed to a regular black chassis block. And I think that's a really unique idea. And again, just looking at the side there, and then uh, it's, it's got the normal face and the normal details and everything. But I just love how they finished this Thomas here, like with the paint and everything. And I'll just quickly show the difference between a normal Thomas and the metallic one, as you can see there. Uh, in this lighting, they look pretty much the same. But like, depending on how you angle it or where the light's hitting it, it actually looks pretty different at times. And overall, I just think that's really cool. And again, like Thomas here even has like these silver-ish like magnet guards that match the wheels. I think they're the same kind of plastic. And so is the dome here. Even the dome has that little finish as well. And Learning Curve just put a lot of care into these 60 years items. And they made a lot of them too. Not only did they make Thomas, but they made Percy and James, you can see there. And then they also made the collector's pack, which had the golden Thomas, the silver Percy, and the bronze diesel, which I have reviewed before. And I'm not going to throw them in this review because I think that'd be too cluttered. But these are just the uh, singular special items. And these were, of course, sold like by themselves, or at least Thomas, James, and Percy were. But it's a bit more complicated than that, at least like with some of the later models. But yeah, Thomas here, you, you just got him in a single box. And he was sold for the year 2005, and that was pretty much it. This Thomas isn't too rare nowadays. You can find them pretty easily online. Um, price may be an issue, but if you get lucky, uh, you can find one for like 30 bucks. Mine was about 25 Although then again, I did get this like six or seven years ago. But yeah, uh, the Metallic Thomas is still just a really cool item. Next up, let's talk about celebrating 60 years Percy. And Percy is pretty much the exact same deal as Thomas. He has like the really nice green metallic finish once again. And even the wheels here are metallic as well. Although they, they do look more green this time. And they look less silvery like Thomas's did. And I kind of like the matching green more to be honest. And again, Percy's dome is also plastic and it's done in the same way. And overall, I mean, this is just another really snazzy item. I think that's a good way to describe these, but they just look really fancy. And again, I just love the metallic finishes on all of these. So I will, I will bring up a normal Percy from this era, and we'll just quickly compare. So as you can see there, um, Percy's finish is actually, I think, a lot more different than Thomas's is. It's a much darker green, and I honestly really like it. I don't know if I prefer it, but I think it's really cool, especially for a one-off item like this. Now, this Percy is actually far more common than the other three models. And the reason is because he was sold in some DVD packs or VHS packs. So basically you would get this item and then there were also like many different DVDs it come with. And those were sold for far longer. I don't know why. I, my guess is that they just had more stock of Percy than the others. I'm not, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, Percy was just again sold in these DVD packs. And of course, um, alongside Thomas and James in their singular boxes. So yeah, Percy is again really cool. I really like the design of him once again, and just overall, I mean, this shade of green is just really nice for Percy, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to James. Now, this is quite a step up in rarity, because although James was sold in the singular boxes like Thomas and Percy, he was sold in less areas and also less time, so James just happens to be a lot more expensive than Thomas and Percy are. Now, James, I do see him going for like about 100 bucks, and I got really lucky with mine because James was $60. And I did get him earlier this year. But this James is absolutely stunning. And I, I really love this one. Now, James and Percy specifically got two different releases. They had the Celebrating 60 Years, like I'll show again on Percy's chassis. Or, at least in for uh, Percy and James here, they could have said Red Metallic. Or Green Metallic for Percy. 
Now, the reasoning behind this is because these were actually also sold in Japan as part of a promotional thing. Like, you would get these, and then it would come with one of those, like, trucks from the Paint and Play se uh, series. I have no idea why they did this, but, like, it was something, like, if you bought so many items at a store, you'd get these for free or something like that. It was a pretty strange promotion, especially, like, choosing James and Percy, but not Thomas. But, uh, yeah, and it just said Red Metallic James on the bottom. And those promotions were done between, I believe, 2008 and 2010. So you can also find James a lot more common, or at least a lot cheaper, from Japan. And I did import this James from Japan. As you can see there, that's why it's the Red Metallic James and not the 60 Years James. Although, aside from the name change, they are just the exact same model. So I'm not going to say they're really different or anything. But again, uh, there's just a better look at James there. And then also I will show like the difference between him and a normal James. And it, it's honestly really striking because again, James has the whole like red chassis and the red wheels. And then it honestly, I think it makes him just pop more. Uh, I really like that a lot. So again, I'll just show that one more time. A more close view of the wheels there. And then also just the chassis. I, I love uh, how they did the chassis on these models. I think it looks fantastic. But yeah, that is James. And finally, let's take a look at the most different of the of the four. We have Hero, and this is just Metallic Hero. And, well, of course, Hero wasn't around in 2005 to be part of the 60-year celebration. However, Learning Curve made this Hero for the 65 celebration. And it just says Hero on the bottom, not Metallic or anything. I'm not, not sure why. But this Hero did come around in the year 2010. Now, Hero has the most interesting backstory, or at least the way to get him. I'll just, like, I, I still do not understand the process behind this. But Hero could only be found in Japan, and he was only sold for, like, one, two years med, like, like at the most. And then he was only in a figure eight set, which I will show a picture of here. Yeah, Hero could only be found in that figure eight set. It's a normal figure eight set, just, like, some versions of the set just had this metallic Hero thrown in. And to top it all off, it was only sold uh, in Japan, again, only in Toys R Us. So, Hero was quite the rare release. I don't know if Hero is the rarest wooden railway item out there, although I do believe he is one of the rarest. So, to have this model of Hero is actually really awesome. And the backstory of how he came to be, or just like how he was sold and what you had to go through to get him, is honestly kind of wild to me. And again, I did import this Hero from Japan. But, I mean, he just looks absolutely stunning. Again, he has red wheels, although they are a different shade from James there. They're a lot more orange, or more like a scarlet, almost. And he also has the red magnet guards there, just to match the wheels. Uh, Hero also, of course, has a gold... I, I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's his dome or not, but uh, there's that. And then also, with, bl with the black paint here, you can more clearly see some of the glitter that is uh, applied into the paintwork there. If I just kind of show it around in the light there, you can definitely see that. And you can, it's there on the other models as well, although it's just the most easy to see on Hero. And again, um, unfortunately, the eyebrows on mine have rubbed off. And uh, he is a little bit sun-faded on this side, but still, I'm just over the moon to have this item. And again, I'll just show the tender as well. <clears throat> just like that. There we go. Sorry, I, I don't have a great voice today, but I did need to record this to get it out. But yeah, that is Hero's tender. And that's pretty much all I had to say about Hero. Again, he just looks stunning. And I will, once again, bring up a normal Hero to show the comparison. Just like that. If I could get my camera to focus, that'd be great. There we go. And yeah, uh, definitely a striking difference between the wheels there. But yeah, that is the Metallic Hero. And that's all I had to say about all of the Metallic items. So, thank you all for watching. And that is, that's pretty much it. So again, just Merry Christmas, everybody. Max Multi 1516, signing out.